Hi everyone, this is Mr. Delicious and let us now proceed to our revision for the grade 10 mathematics uh, exam and using the past exam papers which is the year 2010. So let us now, we are now on to question number 9 and this is the question for question number 9. Okay, so the question number 9 is, this is a very, very common question in the national exam. So you be ready about this kind of question. You may encounter similar to this one, but at least you must master on how to do it when it comes to uh, finding the value of the x or the pronumeral. Okay, find the value of x when 3x minus 4 equals 2x plus 6. And these are the options A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, now this is in your rough paper, you are going to rewrite 3x minus 4 equals 2x plus 6. Okay, so with this given here, <clears throat> with this given, uh, you are going to find the value of this x here. Now, when you are going to have this kind of expression, you are going to use the rules of algebra in, which is collecting like terms. When you collect like terms, that means that you have to make sure that the, the, the terms are in one side. So we have 3x, this one is 3x, and then 2x are like terms. And then we have negative 4, and positive 6 are also like terms. Why are they like terms? If you notice, the 3x and the 2x are like terms because of the lateral coefficient of, which is x, x, x. It doesn't matter about the numerical coefficient 3 and 2. You have to check on the lateral coefficient x, x. So that means that the 3x and the 2x are like terms. Similarly, for the negative 4, and positive 6, they are also like terms because they are what we call constant. And negative 4 and positive 6 are uh, uh, what do you call it uh, like terms. So now, for me, in my, in, in my approach uh, when it comes to this kind of question, to make it short and to easily work it out, I am going to move the, the like terms to the other side of the equation. And then as well as this one, negative 4 to the other side. So they must be on the same side altogether in order for you to perform the operation. So now rewrite this 3x. And then when you move positive 2x to the other side of the equation, it will become the positive, once it is moved to the other side of the equation, it will become negative 2x. And then copy the equal sign. This is, this is the, the expression, the original expression and on the right-hand side. So the positive 6 must be written. So this is positive 6 or simply 6. And then when you move the negative 4 to the other side of the equation, the negative becomes positive 4. Take note of that one. So this is my shortcut way of doing this kind of question. So when you are doing uh, collecting like terms in order to find the value of the pronumeral, you can do it like this so that it would be uh, quick, quick, uh, uh, easy and uh, fast, uh, the quickest way to work it out. Now, take note, this is 3x minus 2x. So that means that then since they are like terms, then you can just say 3 minus 2 equals 1x or simply 1. And that is equal to 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, so 6 plus 4 equals 10. And now, after working it out in your rough paper, go back to the question, to the item, and find out which one gives you the value of x. A, B, C, D, and E. And as we can see, letter E gives us the value of the uh, x, which is x equals 10. Therefore, the correct answer is letter E for question number 9. Okay? So, very good. Now, since uh, we have a very short uh, working out on this, 
let us now pro proceed to question number 10 for one video alone. Okay, so now let's have question number <clears throat> 10. Okay, so this is question number 10. All right, people, grade 10 in Papua New Guinea. Watch this video and learn and in order for you to be ready for your uh, grade 10 mathematics national examination in October this year. Okay, so now this question number 10 is on the topic trigonometry. Okay, the trigonometry. Now, because you are still in grade 10, you will, in, you will notice that m most of the questions in your exam in the trigonometric uh, questions are on to the uh, trigonometry is more on the uh, trigonometric ratios. Okay, which with, with the uh, use of Pythagoras theorem. And I'm pretty sure that you have uh, taught on these two, on how, on when to use the trigonometric ratios and Pythagoras theorem. Okay, this is question number 10. Question number 10, in the right angle triangle, the opposite side length is 118 meters and the angle is 76 degree. Which of the following can be used to find the length of the adjacent side. Now, if you notice in the options here, A, B, C, D, E, these are actually the, the formula to, uh, to use in finding the other side. But the question there now is, uh, which of this expression or equation or formula uh, can be used from the given in order to find the unknown side of a right angle triangle. Now, when it comes to this kind of question, even if the right angle triangle is not being mentioned, you have to draw a right angle triangle. That is the technique. Okay? So, please follow that one. So, what we're going to do now is to draw the right angle triangle and then we label the given and then from there, it will be clear for us to work out uh, the possible question uh, of this. So let's have the possible answer for the given question number 10. So let's now, this is now question number 10. I'm going to label this one as question number 10. So again, you're going to draw right angle triangle when you say right angle triangle that means that the triangle is as the 90 degrees okay whichever side you're going to draw it's up to you as long as it is a right angle triangle with the symbol here signifying that this triangle or this the measurement of this angle here is 90 degrees and therefore the triangle is a right angle triangle okay now let us now go back to the questions after you have drawn the right angle triangle you may now go back to the uh, question so that you can clearly label using the given uh, quantity in a right angle triangle the opposite side length is 118 meters and the angle is 76 degrees okay now since this one is already 90 degrees then any of this one is 76 okay so assuming that this side here is uh, let's say this side here is 76 degrees okay that's the angle if this is 76 degrees, the angle here equals 90 degrees. 76 plus, how many? 14. Okay. 14 equals 90 degrees. Okay. So, the opposite side of 76, it says here, again, the opposite the opposite side length is 118 meters and the angle is 76. The angle is 76 and the opposite side. So if this is 76, its opposite side is here. That's the opposite side. The opposite side then is 
given is 118 meters. Now you have labeled it. Let's now go back to the question. After you have completed labeling the right angle triangle, now it's clear to you now what would be the possible question to the uh, possible answer to the question. Okay, the question here is which of the following can be used to find the length of the adjacent side? To find the length of the adjacent side. Okay. This opposite side of 76 is 118 meters. Now take note that the opposite side of the right angle triangle, which is this side, is what we call the hypotenuse. Okay? The hypotenuse. The longest side of the right angle triangle is a, a hypotenuse. So therefore, it is not that one. So this is our unknown side, which is what we call adjacent. Adjacent side. And we can name it as letter A. Okay? So if that is A, then what would be the possible uh, work uh, equation in order to find A? Which of the following, it says here, which of the following can be used to find the length of the adjacent side? So meaning what would be the formula we can use in order to find A given the angle 76 degrees and the side opposite 118 meters. Now, take note. This topic is trigonometry. Trigonometry. The trigonometry which is using the trigonometric trigonometric ratios now these trigonometric ratios are what we call so ka and towa okay what does this mean okay. this so means sine theta equals opposite side Opposite side divided by the hypothe hypotenuse. Next one, ka. Cosine theta equals adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Next, let us see. Tangent theta equals opposite side divided by the adjacent adjacent side okay let me tell you the technique here and the shortcut way of doing it okay now because we are not involving the hypotenuse okay for in this case because it's 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 not what we are looking for then the ratio that has hypotenuse this one will be eliminated because it has hypotenuse and the cosine or the ka will also be eliminated because it has hypotenuse so therefore the technique there now is that we will only be using the ratio toa tangent theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side so that means tangent 76 degrees so using okay using towa using towa tangent 76 degrees equals the opposite side of 76 degrees is 118 meters divided by our A, which is the adjacent. Okay, we are not done here yet because we have to rearrange this expression, making A as the subject. So this is 
understood to have a denominator of 1, you cross multiply like that. So that would be now a times tangent. So that is a times tan 76 degrees equals 1 times 118 meters. Okay, we're not done yet. Then we divide both sides of the equation by tan 76 degrees, tan 76 degrees. Therefore, our equation now or expression now A, we cancel the tan 76, tan 76. We are now left with A. So that's why we have A over here. Therefore, the value or the expression now is 118 meters divided by tan 76 degrees. So this is now the expression or the equation or the formula to find the adjacent side using this equation. And let us now find out from our working out which one, which of these uh, uh, options here, A, B, C, D, E, uh, gives us the correct answer to find the adjacent side of the right angle triangle. Okay, which one? The correct answer is letter here. Look at that. 118 divided by 10, 76 degrees. So that means the correct answer is letter, letter B. Okay, so that is uh, for question 9 and 10. And this is for this video. And please uh, watch all my videos and subscribe my YouTube channel, Mr. Delicious, the traveling tutor and coach. And also inform the other grade 10 students in the country in Papua New Guinea for them to watch this while, while they are at home or Wherever they are, they can just uh, connect to the internet and watch these videos, okay? And that's all for this uh, uh, P, uh, video. And we'll see you again for uh, question number 11. Ta-ta!